Hello everyone and welcome to the DeerCast. We have got a UK exclusive for you here because we've managed to get our hands on the very first Fortis 6 1.8 to 12 by 42i rifle scope from Leica and we're here today to get it all set up. So here is the Fortis itself, so 1.8 to 12 by 42i, so it's got illuminated reticle. You can see on the top there we've got a ballistic turret, um, got illuminated reticle and parallax control there on the left hand side. But just look at it, look how small and sleek uh, and lightweight it is uh, on this stunning Merkel K3. Um, so we've got a target set up down there 100 metres, chrono in front of us, uh, and we're going to get this uh, get this set up and zeroed in with some 150 grain uh, Fox lead free ammo. Just fired a couple of shots on target. Uh, Chrono is reading 836 meters a second, uh, and the last one was 842 meters a second. Um, just going to go down and have a look and uh, see where we are on paper. So just down uh, on target, and we fired three shots: one to get it on paper, uh, and then two so far to uh, to fine tune it in. Um, so this is what we've got so far. You have to ignore these are from previous session. This one was get it uh, on paper. Uh, we then adjusted it up. Uh, to here uh, and then moved it across here and I'd say we need to come up a couple of centimetres possibly uh, to get it right in the middle of the ball and then we'll be good to go. So you've just seen we were down on target and we were two maybe two and a half centimetres low uh, so using ballistic turret here uh, and the Leica has got a very clever system so each each click is a, is a centimetre at 100 metres but it's got this locking um, bit at the bottom here so once you've once you've set this uh, and you've got it zeroed you can then twist that so no uh, adjustments get made accidentally and then when you want to make adjustments you just twist it to the, uh, to the unlocked symbol here so I've just moved this up two centimeters we'll fire one more uh, and hopefully that'll be us zeroed So I would say um, I've actually gone one centimetre too high, so we've just come one down, by one more, hopefully that is then us zeroed. So we just zeroed the Fortis 6, um, which I must admit actually was, was pretty easy. Um, nothing special um, in relation to the kind of zeroing, it just all, all the clicks on all the turrets are exactly sort of a centimetre uh, and they move every single time you click them. Um, you'll find with some sort of cheaper scopes that sometimes you'll click and nothing will happen and then you'll fire a shot and suddenly your, um, your shot will jump across the paper because the, the scopes have almost caught up with itself or sometimes you'll see it's a centimetre on paper, you want to move it a centimetre so you click the uh, turret a centimetre but it doesn't actually move a centimetre, it might move half or it might move two. Um, Fortis was absolutely brilliant, um, each click was exactly a centimetre, each click it moved every single time and so far it's been really really easy, uh, I think got it zeroed in the end in about five six shots uh, which is pretty good. Um, now comes a tricky bit um, because I've now got to try and set the zero stop uh, on the turret uh, which according to the instruction manual you undo two small screws, you lift it up, twist it round, drop it back down and screw it back into position so it doesn't sound too hard but let's see if I can manage it. So for me, this is going to be the acid test for the Fortis 6. Um, so I've shown you before, I've got a nice ballistic turret here, um, but obviously it comes adjusted to the midpoint of its range, so it comes at 4.5 in terms of centimetres up or down, so that when you're zeroing, you've got plenty of movement up or down. I now need to, I've now got this perfectly zeroed and it's currently at six, so I now need to set it to zero. Um, so you can probably just about see those, uh, a sort of grub screw there, there's another one on the other side. I've got to unscrew those and see if I can screw it all back together again. So here we go. 
So that's a 46 zeroed and zero stop turret reset, um, which is again actually surprisingly easy. Um, I was fully prepared for some screws or a spring to go flying off somewhere uh, out here in the middle of the field and for me to really struggle to put it all back together, but um, actually very easy to do. Um, I should probably explain some of the logic behind um, changing the scope on the K3. Um, originally had a fixed power 8x56 um, Swarovski on it, uh, using quite heavy bullets uh, in the K3, it seems quite like sort of 150 grain uh, bullets. So uh, with those in a 308, they drop quite a lot uh, and found that a fixed power scope with no ballistic turret was um, a bit tricky because uh, couldn't necessarily easily adjust for point of impact with a ballistic turret um, or no ballistic reticle. Uh, and again, on being on fixed eight power, sometimes it was just a bit more difficult to sort of judge how much your holdover ought to be. Uh, so I swapped out for a, a Schmidt and Bender that I had sort of spare, um, which was a great scope. Um, I recently had a, a Leica uh, Amplus on my Tika, uh, and I've got to admit, um, I, normally, scope scope, I don't make, notice a huge amount of difference in terms of the, the optical clarity, quality, um, etc. Maybe I'm just a bit of a heathen, I don't notice it, but actually swapping to a Leica, sudden, suddenly something about the colours just really popped out uh, for my eyes. Um, so I thought I ought to try one um, on the Merkel K3 um, and to be honest the Schmidt Bender I'd put on here was a 3 to 12 by 50 um, and the, the objective lens I'd, I just thought it was just a bit too big uh, for this rifle so I uh, was looking for something like either 44 or 42 uh, like I do this, the uh, uh, Fortis 6 sorry, um, 1.8 to 12 so great magnification range the 42mm uh, objective lens and I think, right I don't drop this on the floor uh, you'll agree that that is just absolutely stunning on there. Um, so that's what we've ended up doing. Uh, we've just walked down here to collect the target. Uh, dog is very impatient, waiting for her dinner, and um, being very well behaved. Um, but we better get back off uh, back to the ranch. So thanks for watching. Uh, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next one.